All right, should we, uh, should we pop into the NFL draft? Yeah, sure. Ten Let's days. Yeah. The countdown's on. You're not going to sleep for ten days just no. watching I film? I feel like I haven't slept, but I'm, yes, I am on the film never-ending. You know, when you're, when you're expected to talk about the draft, the worst problem is, is where do you draw the line to go, okay, that's enough players I've seen. You know, I don't have to be responsible for all seven rounds or doing anything like that, but I certainly want to be able to talk to, especially the first two rounds of draft yep. picks, so there's 64 picks. It doesn't mean you just watch 64 players and you're like, oh, I'm good. I mean, you really almost have to do double, maybe even closer to triple to cover your butt because, you know, teams can see it a different way, whatever it may be. So I'm just trying to kind of continue to crack the, the down the line guy. Well, all the prop bets we have right. are third round and, and later prop bets. Oh, thank yeah, you. We're, Great. Yeah, now Great. First two, yeah. easy. That's all, all right. That's all we Let's need. go. Let's, Let's start right at the top. Let's get back to the conversation we were having. Okay. okay. Let's say in the build up to the draft or on – Draft day, right. days yep. at this point, Russell Wilson mm -hmm. traded, yes or no? I'm going to say no. I, I, I think that he will stay with Seattle. I, mm, I just don't know if I see a team that is, you know, the teams that I look at, the two teams especially that I look at, like the Chargers I would think could make sense, okay? The Giants I could think could make sense, you know, I have thought about the Raiders because I know John Gruden loves Russell Wilson, but I don't imagine that. I think we're a year away. I think Russell Wilson, they're going to have a weird 2019 season where he's going to be the lame duck starting quarterback. There's going to be no contract extension. And when the year's over, they're going to split ways and Russell Wilson's going to be a free agent. You think the Chargers around. make sense? I think that could make sense. It's yes. interesting. And, right. and I get that yeah. with an aging quarterback. Right. But it's also a team that could win right now. Yes, it could. Right? Yes, it could. And a team that loves their quarterback. Certainly. So right. I, I, I wonder about that. Uh, the, personally, I don't think it happens. No. Uh, for the reasons I gave before, which is that we see that with other uh Positions around the NFL, certainly defensive positions, certainly running backs, and now we've seen it with wide receiver with Odell Beckham. You don't see this in their prime franchise quarterbacks. I think people think it's just too risky to give up on these guys. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think he gets traded. I want him to get traded in many ways because I want to see the chaos. Yeah. Uh, I also want him to get traded. I want him to get traded to the Giants because I want to see how much the Giants sign him to. I want to see how much are they paying him to eventually back up Eli Manning. Because well, Eli Manning's still going to be the starting well, quarterback because I mean, they love him that much. They're going to bring him in and he'll back up Eli. I just can't see the Giants making that type of bold move. I think that's the biggest thing at the end of the day. And I mean, you're going to sign Russell Wilson, what, pay him $35 million a year, and then also have Eli Manning on the roster this year and have like over $50 million in the quarterback on your salary cap. That's where, And I just don't see the Giants as being a team to make a trade like that or give up the assets in a, in a point right now where they're somewhat rebuilding so they'd be asking uh, for both first round I would think would assume, so right? yes I mean so. it's certainly going to lower his price a little bit but I would think they were going to ask for two first rounds yep. I mean it is going to the, the price is going to get lowered because he's going to ask to be the highest paid player in the history of the NFL so that's going to make it go down a little bit but yeah I do think two first rounds is going to be in the conversation for for acquiring a guy like Russell Wilson's needs all right let's yeah. go on yeah. uh next one quarterback related right at the top yeah does Kyler Murray go first in the NFL draft? Because, listen, the more mock drafts you see and the more right. information that comes in and the more smoke screens that go out from different teams, uh, suddenly we start to see maybe Josh Rosen will be their guy. Maybe they'll go defense. Maybe they'll want to win right now. Yeah. Kyler Murray going number one overall? I think so. I do. I just uh, I, I go back to Cliff Kingsbury's comments. I think he has a true love affair and trust, and he knows the player. I also just think of Cliff Kingsbury, the coaching aspect where he's going, I want my offense to have a good debut in year one. I think Kyler Murray has the type of talent to kind of – take the pressure off Kings, Kingsbury uh, if his offense isn't hitting on all cylinders, you know, oh, okay, yeah, this might not be a great play, but Kyler Murray scrambled and got 12. Nobody will know it's not that great, whatever it may be. Uh, I, I do. I think Kyler Murray will go to the Arizona Cardinals at number one. I, I don't see how it makes sense otherwise. Yeah. You already took the gamble on the coach. Sure. And you got the coach for the system. Yep. And, make and if this happy, is the quarterback that fits exactly. that system to a T, exactly. it doesn't make any sense. Yes. Uh, so I, I think regardless of any misinformation before then, it seems to me that he's got to go there. I agree. I would right. be there, too. All right, let's stay with quarterbacks, because yeah. this one's gotten really interesting. Yeah. Let's go to Haskins' top ten, which okay. at one point, Dwayne Haskins, that seemed like a lock. It was which team fits, right. which team will take the second quarterback. He'll be that guy. Now, you keep hearing reports and rumors does, yeah. that he is just sinking and sinking. Is he out of the top ten? 
He's a top 10 talent. I want to make sure okay. I say that in my eyes. He is a top 10 talent. You know, again, then what's this about? The negatives with me uh, is for my job and my life is I don't get to meet guys and get to watch them in person and get to go, you know, in meeting rooms and ask them questions about football and go to dinner and all those things. You know, to me on the outside looking in, I've said this many times, I just think, you know, I don't think his – his postseason has been all that great with some of the combine issues and they're talking about his weight and cramping on the 40. And, you know, I've heard, you know, people think that Ohio State's offense was kind of simple, it made it simple for him, and there's talent around him. Either way, I do think I don't know all those aspect, aspects of off the field stuff, but it does seem very odd that. Yes, the talk has quieted down substantially on him. So if you made me bet whether he goes top 10 or not, I'm going to say no, he does not. I say he falls out and ends up somewhere in the teens, something like that. Does that mean that you don't think a quarterback goes top uh, no. outside of Murray? No, Another I, quarterback I, goes I top Drew Locke, I'm, I'm not so sure. If you made me make the same bet with Drew Locke, I'm not so sure I would make that bet. It's very close, yeah. Broncos? Uh, Broncos, maybe. I mean, the New York Giants at six, okay. well, I, I would think – you know, if the, this is my big thing with the New York Giants. If there's a quarterback they like, just take them at number six. Don't wait for seven, yeah. number 17. So to me, if they do like Haskins and they're going, oh, well, the value we think is values in the mid-teens, or if it's Drew Lockett, it's the same thing, whatever. If it's a quarterback and you like him, nobody's going to get mad at you for taking him at number six. And I think, again, I'm going to make this point for the millionth time, Dwayne Haskins, Drew Locke, I feel really confident about these statements right here. Are better than Blake Bortles coming out in the draft. Are better than Christian Ponder coming out in the draft. Are better than Jake Locker coming out in the draft. So from that standpoint right there, all those guys were top 10, top 11 picks. These guys have more talent than them. So I'm not going to be mad if anyone goes, you know what, this is our guy. We like him. And if they take him in the top 10, so be it. I'll go back to the question yeah. I asked you a few weeks ago. Yeah. You'd rather have Rosen than either one of those guys? Yeah, it's close. But, yes, I think yeah. I would. I think with everything I saw with Rosen, you know, I, I, you know, I fancy Drew Locke a little bit because of his style of play, the way he can sling the ball around the, the field. I mean, he has some special qualities that I think really translate to the NFL. But, yes, I think, like, if I just went for my pure grades of grading quarterbacks, I think my Josh Rosen grade would, would, was higher than, than Locke or Haskins from this year. Have you been saying I fancy all along? Is no. Is that a thing? I just can oh, sometimes... Do you do it now because you're on Sky Sports? I don't know. Me and the English PFT, language. And you, just... want to, you want to appeal to Cheerio. the British Cheerio. office? Yeah, exactly. I don't even know where I come up with some of the shit that comes out of my mouth sometimes, Liam. I make up words, and then sometimes I have words that make sense, and I sound like I'm smart, and I really just use them not even knowing the meanings of the words. I've just listened to how other people have used them. You're throwing go, them out there and you're hoping the right that way. fits. He used it like that. I'm using it like that, too. <laughs> you're freelancing with the English yeah. language. And maybe it hits, maybe Dude, it doesn't. Do you know what happened Maybe it'll become yesterday? a thing. I didn't even tell you this. I, first of all, we Please. didn't even get into this. I'm breaking stride. But who's, who's Go ahead. It's a this podcast. Point. Who cares? <laughs> First of all, I didn't even get to say that Tiger Woods used to come into our quarterback meeting when I was at Tampa Bay. What? Yeah, I was going there, but we got off topic. Tiger Woods used to come in Orlando. We would train at the Wild World of Sports when I was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Tiger Woods, in the, the year, I believe it was 2007, where I was recovering from my spleen, I, he probably looked at me at practice that day and was like, whoa, this guy's an NFL quarterback because I was probably throwing lame ducks everywhere. But he can understand the feeling with his yeah, back issues. Sure. So, But okay. either way... Uh, he, yes, I got to be around him, and that was really cool to be around. Like, that's a pretty cool moment that Tiger Woods was, like, sitting What was he doing? I don't he understand. Gruden is a psycho, of course, and he asked Tiger to always come to training camp every year. Come to training camp, hang out with us. And finally, I think Tiger just got sick of John asking. So he came, and he hung around for the day, and he was in our quarterback meetings. It was really cool. I mean, hey. I, Did he say anything during these he, meetings? You know, just we asked him it? some, like, questions about golf and how he approaches the sport and things like that. But for the most part, he just sat back and, and observed. Uh, I really, he was, he was cool. It was a cool experience. Basically, he was trying to get Gruden off his back. Right. And then, and wait, this is what I got to tell you, but it really pissed me off. Do I, if I sound hoarse today, I started the tournament yesterday and put it on pause and recorded it, okay? Because I, I had a long work week, work week. I'd worked six days in a row. Oh, week. God. You know I want to go to the brutal, gym. Shut brutal, brutal life up, you okay? have. Okay, shut up. <laughs> and I wanted to go to the gym, okay? And I didn't want to go to the gym at like four in the afternoon after the tournament was going to be over. So I paused it. I recorded it. I was like, I'm not going to pay attention. I'm not going to look to the news. Nobody's going to tell me who won this match, and I'm going to watch it in real time. 
I got done with my workout. I am sitting in the sauna for a few minutes just to get a little extra sweat. And I'm looking at my phone. I'm playing some stupid game on my phone. And I got a news alert. And well, it, well, you got to turn those off. I don't, I don't understand how this is. On. How did you not know that that might happen? I don't know because I really am not a news alert guy, kind of guy. I didn't even. I just. I didn't know it was possible not to know that. I mean, it, there's lots of things. That's did you tell possible. people not to text you? I did. Okay, well, well you at least handled that. I part. tried to. Yeah, my aunt went. So to then eat. you knew and then had to go back and watch. Yeah, I still watched. Oh. It. I know it stunk though. It really pissed me off. I yelled. I cussed a lot actually when I when that news alert came out. You curse a lot to begin I with. I'm so pretty that's good at not it. really yeah. that big a deal. That's wild, though. But did Tiger Woods throw a football while he was there? Nope. Yeah. Did not. Well, I, I you like know what I was always that. amazed? The, the, the thing that I'll always I'll remember about Tiger Woods, his waist is, like, this big. Like, <laughs> he is not, like, he is not a big guy. Yeah. You know, I'm going to say maybe, what, I mean, you know, 5'11", 6 foot, something like that. But I just remember thinking, like, Gee, you know, he's in shape, and he just looked different than any other golfer I'd ever met. And that's that's what jumps out of me. Sorry to change the subject. No, that was great. Hit me. Listen, I mean, he, that's phenomenal that Kinda he was news, in the meeting. Right, right. You, Gruden, Tiger. Yep. And then we got a sauna story, too. So that's, <laughs> that's not bad. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.